Yes. Good boy. Good. Yeah, we've got the cats out. Tandy free behavior. Good boy. Let's do a recall. Tandy! Yes! Good boy! Excellent job, buddy. So we've got a recall from the cats or from that end of the hall where the cats are. Good boy. Yeah. Yes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You should go boy. Yes. Good boy. I know. He's so cute. When he's happy. Yes. Watch out, babe. I need you to move. Thank you. Good boy. Yes. Yep, she gotcha. Yes. Good boy. Go. Yep. Well, he just like... He, Miko is sitting on top of the gate, and he's standing there just sniffing her a little bit. And it, she took a little too long, and so she went... Mah! And he went like this. <laughs> but that's it? Yeah. And then I just put myself between them and backed them off. <clears throat> Good job, buddy. Good boy. Yeah, see so where you're in the cats. Good. Candy? Yes. Good. So he's obviously his arousal's higher than it was. Good. <clears throat> Talking to the camera, Norman. Yes. Good boy. Good. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> yes. Good job, buddy. Cat approaching him. Perfect. Good. Tandy. Tandy. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good. So I did use the nick there just once, the stim, <clears throat> on uh, four, just a tap. And that's going to help him with situations in the future that aren't as controlled where we need to use that, like I said, emergency break. And he already knows exactly what to do. So that's what we want. Dandy, let's go. Yes. So that's a litmus test for us just to see without the pager or anything where's he at and he moved right away with us so that's beautiful let's see how focused he is tandy up yes very good we've been working on the cats too but not like with this much freedom so this is our first good boy yes this is the most challenge he's had yet basically so i wanted to video it tandy free good boy heel yes good job very nice. Tandy, get it. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Good job, buddy. There you go. Good boy. Yes. So he's looking at the cats. We can reward that. Good job. Yes. Good boy. Good job, buddy. There you go. Good. Awesome. <clears throat> Walk this way. Yes. So it's like we're off leash because that's basically the impression he has is he's off the leash. Good boy. So when I walk away, he should walk away with me. And that's perfect. <clears throat> yes. Good boy. So I knew that she was going to jump up into the room there. So I marked that ahead of time. Well, at the, at the correct time. Dandy, let's go. Yes, good boy. So just practicing our movement away from the distractions as well. And again, that's just another litmus test for me. I didn't use the pager there or anything. Yes, good. Disengaged on his own there. Beautiful. Excellent job, buddy. He's getting less and less interested as they are out for longer. And he's like, oh, this is no big deal. <laughs> good boy. Yeah. Tandy, heel. Heel. Yes, good boy. Good heel. Good boy. 
Yes. Good. So we've been practicing our heel command. Sit. Yes. Excellent. Good boy. Yes. Good. Good boy. Tandy heel. Yes. Excellent. So that was great. That turn was really good and there was no lure. Heel. Yes. Perfect again. And I'm just moving my hand up a little farther, see, so that the lure is not right in his face anymore. But it's still there to guide him. Yes. Good boy. That's kind of the intermediate step. Tandy. Heel. Yes. Good. So he left heel position, so just get him back in. Good boy. Yes. Tandy. Free. Get it. Just drop one for him so he can get out of position there. And Bailey's just laying there being a good girl, so I'll give her a little reward. Good job, honey. Good job. You guys so cute. And I just have the leash just dragging just in case I need to step on it or something like that. My cats are pretty dog savvy in that they don't run typically. They're not that stunned <laughs> to run away from a dog that's like, you know, new to them. Yes. So Mika came out now. She's laying on the floor there and he hasn't. So right here, I'm going to step on it just so that, yes, good boy. But I still have very good, because um, I don't want to get him any closer than that, because I know Mika's a little less comfortable than um, Tiger and Boots are. Mika and Charlie are the two shyer ones, but they're still both, they're all very, quite dog savvy. So yes, choosing on his own to come this way. Excellent. Good boy. But I just stepped on the leash there to make it so that he didn't get closer than he could handle and she and he didn't get closer than she could handle the cat the, the black cat over there yes good boy so the disengagement i'll reward that awesome so i'm rewarding in the beginning with something like this i'm rewarding engagement i'm rewarding him looking at the thing calmly and then i'm starting to reward the disengagement so the moving away so in the beginning i want to create the association of you can look at this thing. It's, you don't need to ignore it. It's not something that you need to, yes, it's not something that you need to be avoidant of. It's not something we want you to be comfortable. We want to associate this positively and so all that good stuff. And then just like everything else, as we progress, we make our criteria more and more precise. Yes. Good boy. So there comes uh, Boots. So I'm just going to step on the end just in case here. But should be all right yes good boy disengaged on his own that he heard a piece of food so that didn't really count but good boy candy yes litmus test good boy good boy buddy candy up yes Good boy, throwing some obedience in there. Just to see again, like little these little litmus tests to let us know where the dog's head's at. Good boy, wait. Good, so he was about to get up. I told him wait, so he knows to wait. And we can do things like, you know, throw little bits of food on the ground and stuff like that. And he knows to wait. Wait. Yes. Good boy. Excellent. Wait. Good. Tandy free. Good free. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Good boy. Very nice. Good boy. Yeah. All right. Now that's what I wanted to tape for now. And um, I'm going to step on it there because I don't want him to get, yes, I don't want him to get too close to her, right? So she didn't move, so she's feeling more comfortable with his energy and his state of mind now. I can tell by the cat's reactions as well how the dog is doing, that also helps me to, to determine. Good job, buddy. Yeah. <clears throat> Tandy, heel. So we're very close to the cats now. Let's see if we can get a heel. Yes, awesome. Good boy. Can we get a sit? Yes, good boy. Awesome. Great job, buddy. Yeah, good boy. Tandy, let's go. Yes, good boy. So the turn away, and you've been using let's go, so I've adopted that as well, just as a heads up, we're moving again type of uh, thing. <clears throat> good boy. 
Yeah, it's a cook shop, buddy. Yeah, you're doing good, aren't you? Shake, yes, good. So I'm gonna reward the shake. When we've talked about that, the shake is a is a stress relief. That would be like the equivalent to like a big sigh or like a you know big stretch. Those types of things show us the dog is releasing um, uh, stress, but it doesn't necessarily have to be distress, right? Can be the opposite you stress which is good stress that would be like excitable excitability so let's see here good yes awesome buddy good boy and <laughs> charlie just swatted at mika don't mind the uh array of things in there this is their little space so there's a lot of cat stuff they have a suitcase because they like laying on suitcases and they have a big piece of cardboard because they love to rip up cardboard <laughs> candy let's go yes good job buddy awesome good boy anyway we're gonna end it for right now um end the video for right now and i'll probably just do a little bit of a cool down bit here with this with him and then um we'll move on to uh something else <clears throat> good boy yes